Satellites float above our skies, transmitting signals all over the planet, but eventually they fall back to Earth and burn up. But why do they always burn up before reaching the surface? To understand that, we need to take into account the satellite's orbit. It whizzes by the top of the atmosphere at an amazing 8,000 meters per second, nearly 20 times as fast as a bullet. This means that the satellite has a lot of kinetic energy. In fact, each kilogram of the satellite contains 32 million joules of kinetic energy. Satellites are made up of many materials, but consider one of its major components aluminum. It takes about 920,000 joules of energy to melt one kilogram of aluminum. Less than 3% of the total kinetic energy each kilogram of the satellite contains as it falls to Earth. Now, not all the kinetic energy is converted into heat that gets into the satellite. As the satellite heats up, it starts to radiate away much of the heat it has acquired. Also, energy is released into air that surrounds it. But... Since only a small percentage of the kinetic energy of the satellite is needed to melt it, it is not long before it breaks up completely.